Welcome to the finale of the GitLab Innovation Pitch Competition. My name is Fatima and with me is... Abu Bakr. I'm excited for this finale. We are on the developer relations team at GitLab and will be your hosts for this finale. The GitLab Innovation Pitch Competition aims to accelerate innovation. Through ideation, building proofs of concept, and pitching their results, participants can make their ideas a reality by putting their projects into the hands of thousands of GitLab users with GitLab support. It's worth noting that for us, this is more than a competition. It's a celebration of the values-driven culture that GitLab embodies, a culture that nurtures personal and professional growth and advocates for inclusion. It's GitLab's mission to make it so that everyone can contribute. Here's how the contest happened. Participants registered on gitlab.devpost.com. They brainstormed some ideas, built proofs of concept, and submitted their pitches under a bunch of different categories. Social impact, developer experience, CI, CD catalog, or AI. Just for fun, we like to call these hashtags. Abu Bakr, could you tell us a little bit about the stats on those categories? Sure, Fatima. We had a total of 916 registrants for for the competition. Eligible submissions from those numbers were 26, 27 non-eligible, and 16 that were uh, not, that didn't meet up with the competition. Now, within all these 26 submissions, we had 12 for AI, 12 for the CICD catalog, five for developer experience, one that was just for the fun of it, and 12 for social impact. Eligible submissions were evaluated by our panel of judges in two stages. The first stage involved determining we have pass or fail whether the ideas met a baseline level of viability. Did your project reasonably fit the theme of the category you applied to? And did your project reasonably apply to the requirements of the hackathon? All of the submissions that passed stage one were then evaluated in stage two based on equally weighted judging criteria and the sole and absolute discretion of the panel of judges. Here are some of the judging criteria we looked at. Does it solve a real problem? Does the project clearly articulate the problem that your solution is addressing? Why is this problem significant and how does your solution effectively resolve it? Innovativeness. Does this project highlight the unique features of the solution and how it differs from existing solution? We really looked for creativity and originality in your approach. Overall quality. Did you demonstrate excellence in the execution of your idea? This could be the design, the user experience, or the technical implementation. Scalability. Can your solution grow in terms of customer base, revenue, and operations? Total addressable market. What's the potential market impact opportunity if your solution captured the entire market segment it was targeting? And feasibility. How practical is your solution in terms of the available resources, the technology, or the time? This is where we were looking for barriers to success. Meet our judges. Ashley is the chief marketing officer at GitLab. Christian is a staff backend engineer with the Gitly team. And Emilio is the Vice President of Developer Relations at GitLab. And also myself, a Developer Advocate at GitLab. We also have Dov, who is the Senior Product Manager with the Verify team at GitLab. Christina is the Senior Product Manager with the Tenant Scale team. Lee is a Staff Full Stack Engineer part of the developer relations team at GitLab. Dave is a vice president for brand and product marketing. Jocelyn is a product manager, while Liz is an analytics engineer, and Sheila is a senior manager sales systems at GitLab. You can find all of the awesome submissions at gitlab.devpost.com slash project dash gallery. Before we proceed, let's hear from the organizer of this competition, Bart Collette. Hi everyone, I'm responsible for this competition and I'm extremely happy with the outcome. We're about to announce the winners of this competition, but first this, from January 16 onwards, we've done outreach to over 400,000 users and over 10,000 users visited the competition and almost 8,000 signed up from all over the world. Half of them had never used GitLab before. 
they've teamed up and they worked around 226 projects. Ultimately, 69 of them made it to the end with their proof of concepts. We were really impressed with the overall quality. Seven of them, they will win a cash prize and three of them a public prize. Amongst the eligible submissions, those related to AI, the CICD catalog, and those creating a social impact garnered most interest. Participants in this competition created 55 components in our CICD catalog. A big thank you to all participants. We really value your participation and have tremendous respect for the time you invested in this. We wish you all the best and hope to also support you in your future innovative endeavors. Thank you. Bye. Let's also hear from Nick Vinhoff, the Director of Contributor Success at GitLab. Hi, everybody. My name is Nick. I'm uh, one of the organizers of this competition. Um, and it's it's been amazing to see all of you participating, uh, trying to find these innovative ideas, pitching it to GitLab, to the judges. Um, and I'm, I'm just amazed by what projects came out of this. For example, I've seen uh, projects working on LLMs and like machine learning models, trying to really make a difference in this whole DevOps journey of our wider GitLab community. I've seen people making a ton of contributions to our CI, CIC catalog. Um, I've seen people collaborating together to create very creative videos um, of their pitch, um, like cartoon-esque little videos that, that are just like amazing to see. Um, also, and this this blows my mind, is the amount of collaboration that happened on our Discord in our issue queues, um, and I, I can't wait to see what's next. I also hope that some of these um, participants, you um, will actually continue these ideas, maybe even commercialize some of it uh, either with GitLab or outside. Um, maybe this really was that push that you needed to get that confidence that you can actually make a difference in this world to create a social impact, to really deliver that value to the global world. Thank you for your participation in the GitLab Innovation Pitch Competition will almost know who has won. Stay tuned. Today, we'll be showcasing the seven submissions, their pitches, the feedback from the judges, and their scores. At the end of the day, we'll look at how they rank and celebrate the top winners. But first, let's see the winners of the public vote. Abu Bakr, let's see those public vote numbers. Awesome. We asked and you all responded with your votes. Here are the top three projects from the public votes. Number three is Sproutino with 15 votes. Sproutino is a social networking platform for share, supporting, sharing, promoting, and encouraging innovative minds and ideas. In number two is Webhook Workshop, which allows you to build and deploy webhooks with, without, without the pain. It's called 20 votes. And Drumroll's number one in public vote is to be continuous with 56 votes. To be Continuous is an open source project defined by opinionated principles, offering a collection of CI templates crafted by DevSecOps experts to construct cutting edge CI CD pipelines. Congratulations to all of the public vote winners. Now let's take a look at the winning pitches. I'll be walking you through the top seven uh, pitches in no particular order. First is GitLab Buddy. GitLab Buddy is a low-code slash no-code solution with AI helpers that will help you learn how to use GitLab and craft, adjust, and debug awesome pipelines the right way. Let's watch their pitch. Hello. GitLab users, whether veterans or beginners, often encounter challenges while designing, deploying, and debugging their CI-CD pipelines due to GitLab's sometimes complex nature and error-prone coding. This issue is time-consuming, decreases productivity, and restricts users from completely leveraging GitLab's capabilities, creating a need for a solution that eases these challenges and accelerates pipeline crafting. GitLab Buddy is a low-code, no-code solution with intelligent AI helpers designed to effectively alleviate these problems. By simply clicking a series of buttons and typing out details into modals, 
one can quickly configure pipeline elements, while the AI helpers continuously fix and explain the code in real time. Let's take a look. Let's start by setting the image for the pipeline. Next, let's make sure it only runs on merge request and initialize a variable success to false. But suppose someone doesn't understand some of the components of this code. What they could then leverage is the explain with AI utility, where they could add an additional query, but will have the code explained by default. So we could see that here. Let's now also suppose that a user would like to change the code, but they don't really know how. What they could then do is set a custom query here, and AI will generate the code. So if they're happy, they could copy it to the editor, and we could see it reflected here. But now let's suppose someone makes a syntax error, for example, this. What will then happen is that users will not be able to add new components, and they will be alerted of the fact that there's a mistake. So what they could leverage is the fix with AI utility which will attempt to fix the code to the best of its ability, but users are once again able to add additional queries here. So this looks right again, so what they're able to do is copy to the editor again, and they can see the fix with AI prompts disappeared, and there is no error window, and the changes are reflected here. Imagine the potential impact of the tool on the millions of GitLab users, providing assistance to developers and empowering them to achieve their goals with ease and streamline their workflows intuitively and efficiently. It is easily extendable, customizable, and feasible to run as it leverages a serverless architecture with an extremely cost-effective AI integration. So overall, GitLab Buddy aims to make GitLab's power understandable and accessible to all, serving as a companion to people of all levels of experience. Thank you for your time. Next up is Find Your Open Source Opportunity, acronym FYOSC. It analyzes your recent GitLab activity, projects, dependencies, and suggest open source projects that you should be able to contribute to no matter what your skill set is, making open source sustainable. Let's watch, let's watch their pitch. Our industry has only gotten where it is today because of open source software and the selfless maintainers. Unpaid work, burnout, and unmaintained projects are common symptoms of popular open source projects. I think GitLab could play a big role in promoting open source contributions increasing diversity and removing toxic gatekeeping. For this, I built a web app that analyzes your projects, your activity, and the dependencies you are using. Based on your profile, we find open source software that you are actively using that could need your help and your specific skills. After signing in with your GitLab account, we first look through your recent activity and projects and check what kind of work you are doing. We check if you're someone who prefers building and pushing code or writing documentation and administration work, or if you enjoy testing. Through this, we aim to enable diversity and let everyone contribute their skills and not just traditional developers. You can, of course, also manually change your profile if you want to learn something new. Based on this profile, we then analyze your projects and the software that you depend on. Dependencies that have open issues that match your profile are then presented to you nudging you to make open source contributions. Of course, we know that a huge influx of new contributors is also a burden on maintainers. For that, I've also enabled a way for maintainers to declare that they do not want to be included in this program. This is a proof of concept, but it actually works already for Node.js projects and NPM packages that are on GitLab. It is feasible to implement this for all users on GitLab and also extend it to other programming languages. If you would want to extend it, you would simply need to add more parsers for the specific dependency management tools of that language. This project could be implemented in companies as a social impact program and generate huge value. New contributors can learn, make new connections with others, and give back to open source. In return, companies get stable and maintained software as well as publicity. Open source maintainers can get help with their project as well as new connections with companies. A win-win-win situation. The link to the website and code is in the project description and everything you see here works and is built using Next.js, Superbase and the GitLab API. Thanks and bye. Next up is TestBotler, making Internet of Things testing easier. It enables your software to be tested directly on your hardware in real-life situations with GitLab CI-CD pipelines. 
GitLab's motor is software faster. This project aims to solve exactly that for GitLab users developing IoT, AI, automotive applications deployed on the edge hardware faster and exponentially more reliable. Let's watch their pitch. The Butler demo for the GitLab pitch competition. In this POC, we have built a tool that enables software to be directly tested on IoT devices in real life conditions using GitLab runners and CI CD pipelines. And also in the future, we can also integrate this with GitLab Auto DevOps. To look into the demo, we have an IoT device uh, that is running right here on Valina. Valina is a cloud ma fleet management platform. We have an Intel NOC running our, some of the code that you can see running uh, some of the times on IoT devices. Here we are running a Chromium browser and we have deployed that quite recently. So let's start by testing something on this Chromium browser right here. And what Test Butler does is it executes your test right from the main station, right from GitLab runners, GitLab CI CD pipelines directly on the device wherever it is. And it has no vendor lock in. It suppose multiple scenarios where we can test on the device and off the device, uh, where if you want to test the hardware as well, you can. And here you can see the test running side by side without any human intervention, automated. And we can also see that running through GitHub pipelines. So we'll wait for the logs, but you can see um, as I'm making changes to my source code as well in the GitLab website, we as we make changes, we can have pipelines executed to test each and every changes to our IoT application right here. So you can see a test was also ran and executed using the GitHub CICD pipeline. We also tried using the GitLab runner to see how it works out. Test Butler, in fact, is completely open source and can run on a multiple scenarios where it can test their device as well. It can test on the device. And we are very much looking forward to seeing how it can build this folder on GitLab CI CD. Um, a lot more is to be done and we'll continue to update this repo, but that's the demo. Thank you. Next up is Coach BNBW. It helps developers to avoid psychological burnout by analyzing their behavior based on their commits and it's powered by AI. Let's watch their pitch. Presenting you Coach BNBW. Be nice, be well. Do you want your developers to be happy and be focused about code and being productive? Do you hate when you have a mad developer that always gets angry, pushes wrong code, or do you want happy, balanced, and layback developer? The difference here is on who blinks and who just knows when to take a break. Taking breaks is really important and coach is going to give you just that. He's going to let you know when it's time to go and touch some grass. Integrating coach into your project is as easy as using its container. You just have to include this container in a stage in your pipeline. Make sure you mount the repository into the container. You need to point out where you have this repo and also you have some configuration available. Having provided this configuration to coach, he is going to inspect your repo and see what your developers are committing, which frequency, how much they are committing, and also he is going to analyze the sentiment of the commit messages to identify identify angry developers, analyze some potential stress indicators to know when your developers should take a break. Are they overworking? Are they working overtime? Are they working outside working hours? Coach is it like your friend that knows what's best for you. Next up is to be continuous. To be continuous is an open source project defined by opinionated principles, offering a collection of GitLab CI templates crafted by DevSecOps experts to construct cutting edge CI CD pipelines. Here is their pitch. Hello everyone. Do you know about the To Be Continuous open source project? Let me introduce you this amazing project. To Be Continuous is a set of GitLab CI templates developed and maintained by DevOps and technology experts to build 
state of the art CACD pipelines in minutes. It's hosted on gitlab.com. A well documented project is a good project. Let's visit our website. Here we explain all our principles and cross functional features. The to be continuous project is opinionated with active contributions from community members who contribute to best practices focusing on CACD standardization with a comprehensive set of standard stages covering all CACD steps. Configurable, extensible, it works with minimal configuration but can be adapted to specific needs. Dynamic review environments, maximizing the usage of GitLab features, each template comes with comprehensive documentation. It is the use of security and quality tool such as code quality, dependencies checks, SAST tools like Sonacube, Trivi. No need to be a GitLab CA expert. All templates are designed to work seamlessly out of the box. A wizard tool named Kicker helps you to create your GitLab CA configuration file. Simply select your language, choose some SAS tool. Here you can see your GitLab CA configuration file generated. Copy paste it. You now have a professional working pipeline. GitLab CACD components and catalogs are now available. All our templates are accessible using both include methods. You can find all our components in GitLab CACD catalog. Our goal is to enhance CACD standardization with GitLab. Thank you. Next is carbon component. It's a CICD component that helps you track and even offset the carbon emissions for requests made to your website for different usage scenarios. It helps you to show the world you use green web hosting with a snazzy badge. Here's the pitch. Carbon Component is a new CI-CD component for GitLab that enables developers to estimate the carbon emissions per web request to their projects. It is simple to drop into any GitLab CI-CD pipeline and provides detailed emissions reports for your web project. It's unique in that it provides a link in each report that allow you to offset your project's emissions using Project Grid, a carbon sequestration services provider. Carbon Component is also unique in that one of its build artifacts is the green web host button. This has been added to increase the virality of the project by allowing developers to show that their project is powered by green energy right in their readme files. This button will be updated on each run of Carbon Component, and embed instructions can be found in our readme. Carbon Component is able to determine if a web host for a given project uses green energy by checking the Green Web Foundation's data set of green web hosts. Their criteria require web hosts to use no fossil fuels, to use fossil energy from the grid but buy renewable power through tariff programs, or they must offset their emissions through a reputable provider. Our green web host button was earned because GitLab itself is considered a green web host. Carbon Component uses our modernized fork of the open source Carbon Calculator project, which in turn uses Google's Lighthouse Website Insights tool and Python to implement the algorithm used by the popular website Carbon Calculator. Our container hosts a Chromium browser, which allows us to use the Lighthouse and Greenhouse plugin to characterize data transfer over the wire, the energy intensity of the website's data, and then return these insights as a JSON report as a GitLab CI CD build artifact. Thank you for watching, and I hope Carbon Component has a positive social impact helping developers address climate change. Next is Tanuki. It's a CI CD component that uses AI to measure human attention and relevance on your website. It generates heat maps to show where users focus on your website more than the others. Here's their pitch. Hi GitLab and welcome to our pitch. My name is Swati and this is Bitan. Uh, that's right. And today we are pitching to solve a common problem affecting nearly everyone these days. Namely, do you want to log out of this video already, even though it's only been five seconds? How about when you visit a website? How much time do you want to spend reading or browsing it? The situation today is that bounce rates of 80 to 90% are considered quite common and average session times are only about three to five seconds. 
That's right, the problem statement that we are trying to solve for is human attention prediction for our web pages. We do this in our CI pipeline so we can continuously develop and deploy our websites while testing this. It's a tough problem because it is based on not just what we see on the interface, but also on what is most relevant to us, basically the content we are searching for. As a product manager and small business owner running a website with about 10k followers on socials and 4k monthly unique visitors, a small decrease in bounce rate causes a big rise in revenues. But my question is, how do I get people to engage more with my website and bounce less? And as a front-end developer, I try to ensure the content that I consider relevant is actually being viewed in the first few seconds on page load. But my question is, how do I know relevance and attention without deploying code changes and performing expensive long-term user testing? The answer we've come up with is twofold, an AI-generated heat map modeling human attention and an LLM-generated set of bounding boxes modeling human relevance. This provides us with an insight into both the key areas of what a user tends to see versus what is most important to him. We deployed a custom PyTorch model with a MobileNet v3 backbone directly to our CI-CD pipeline as a component so that any developer can test his changes for attention and relevance as soon as they are deployed. We also generate an HTML report as an artifact for later analysis. This scores intersection over union between relevant content heat maps and attention paid heat maps after document load to come up with an overall attention score for the page. Human attention and relevance is a really tough computer vision problem to tackle. So thank you GitLab for giving us this opportunity. As future steps, we would love to train our model further to totally automate attention span testing across all user interfaces. Thanks again and it was awesome hacking on GitLab. All right, thanks for watching so far. Here's a really quick demo of our component. As you can see in the spec, we require a Gemini API key that we store as a masked variable. And the second part of our component is a custom PyTorch model that we store the architecture and weights of in another Python package. We set up a test project as well. And once the pipeline is run, we get a nice URL to our GitLab pages. And you can see an HTML report with all the summary metrics. Thank you very much. Now let's see how the submission score and see the ranking. The score is the average of the scores that each of the juries gave. Now, in number seven is carbon component with 21.8. In number six is coach BNBW with 22.5. In number five is GitLab Buddy with 22.7. In number four is Test Butler with 23.6. In number three is to be continuous with 25.3. In number two is find your open source opportunity with 26.8. And drum rolls, Tanuki is number one with 27.0. Congratulations. Congratulations, Bitan and Swati. What an amazing project you've delivered here. You really took and blew the judges of their minds. Um, you really and clearly artic articulated the problem space. You used resources of GitLab to show how you're actually solving that problem space. There's a large market of uh, people using GitLab to deploy websites or similar web applications where actually your solution has a big impact in understanding the human behavior in advance or at least faster then going into real testing. So it's true and, and you have won this competition and you really truly deserved it as well. Uh, thank you, thank you for that. Congratulations to the winners and everyone who participated. Deep dive sessions will be scheduled in the following weeks where selected contributors can earn up to $100,000. Terms and conditions apply. The top three winners will be presented to the CEO of GitLab and a short conversation will be scheduled for the winners to present their project and for some Q&A. Winners need to keep an eye on their mailbox in case they're selected for a deep dive. We have come to the end of this live stream. I want to say a very special thank you to all of the participants in our innovation pitch competition, to all of the judges on our panels, to the organizers on our team, and to you, the viewers. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Bye.